This video we're going to show you how to properly set up your Edge CTS or your Edge Insight uh, programmer to work with the uh, EAS expandable accessory system, the 98605 uh, universal sensor input system. This is basically a daisy chain system that allows you to use standard pressure transducers or temperature sensors. Any any 5 volt uh, transducer or sensor will work with the universal sensor input. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, go ahead and plug in your Edge CTS or Insight. Plug that into your USB port. While that's loading, you're going to go ahead and open up your MyStyle software. You get that on the Edge website. As soon as it finds it, it'll pop up there in the middle. Just going to click on it. And then uh, here you can customize the background picture on your display. It's not all that impressive. I would like to be able to go in there and change my alerts and all my uh, gauges and everything. But pretty much all you can do is change the background picture. I guess it's a, a decent feature, but I wish it was more than that. Uh, but we're going to click on this middle one here, custom Customize EAS Device. It'll take it a second to load up at the top there. What I've done is I've uh, purchased three pressure transducers. One 30 PSI, one 100 PSI, and one 500 PSI. And one's going to be for my degas or cooling system pressure. One's going to be for uh, my fuel pressure. And one is going to be for my transmission pressure. In order to do that, I needed two EAS systems because uh, each one has two sensor inputs. All right, as soon as it loads, you'll see uh, it detected my EGT, or my uh, exhaust gas temperature probe. And then down here, we've got our other two universal sensor inputs. So we're going to go ahead and click on the first one there. And you can see I've already set up my uh, degas pressure sensor in there. Uh, so starting from the top, you've got gauge name. I named it degas. Long name is just going to be a longer name that you'll see on a different screen. I named that DGAS EAS. And then a long description, which is going to be cooling system pressure. For mapping on these uh, pressure transducers, um, you're going to want to use a custom voltage. They're pretty much linear output devices from uh, 0.5 to 4.5 volts. So you're going to click on custom voltage. Pull it value is always going to be none. That's when you're working with some different kind of like uh, thermosistors and like uh, any kind of sensor that uses ohms. For uh, a pressure transducer, you're not going to use uh, a pull-up value there. For alert, we set it to greater than 16 PSI. Uh, 16 PSI is the point at which the degas cap releases. And uh, I watch my degas pressure a lot, and you'd be surprised how often it gets up to that point. So 16 is a good number. That, let's, that should let you know when your degas cap is supposed to be releasing. And if you start seeing numbers above 16, uh, you know to start uh, kind of worrying and looking for other problems. So as far as the settings go here, you're going to have two uh, inputs here. The first one is going to be 0.5 volts, and that's going to be 0 PSI. You're going to change your, your value here to PSI. That tells it uh, what kind of unit it's looking for. And then your second one is going to be 4.5 volts. And that one is going to be 30 PSI. So, coming over here to a brand new one that I haven't set yet. The default name is uh, U input B. I'm going to change that to uh, fuel. Pretty short name there. Fuel PR, or fuel pressure. Fuel pressure for long name. And then fuel pressure EAS for the description. Mapping is going to be custom voltage. Pull up value is going to be none. And for fuel pressure, we're going to do uh, less than, and we'll call that 40 psi. We don't want to see less than 40 psi if we can help it. So for the units, we're going to change this to psi. And we're going to change the number of inputs to 2. So the first one is going to be half a volt, or 0.5, and that's going to be 0 PSI. The second one, I moved it. Second one is going to be 4.5 volts, and that is going to be 100 PSI, because we have a 100 PSI transducer there. 
go ahead and save that and I'll go back in there and make sure everything's saved I've had issues where it doesn't quite save every single time looks good alright let's go ahead and set up uh, our third sensor there we're gonna go to our second EAS device we're gonna call this one trans pressure or trans PR trans transmission press and then yes all right so we got trans PR trans press and then transmission pressure yes yes mapping is going to be custom voltage pull up value is going to be none for this one we don't want to see less than uh, let's call it 60 I believe at idle and park you're supposed to see about 80 psi it's been a while since I tested that but I'll come back here in here and change that we'll just set it to 60 for now um, we're gonna change the number, number of inputs to 2 change the, the units to psi and we're going to call the first one half a volt. It's going to be zero PSI. The second one is going to be 4.5 volts. And that's going to be 500 PSI because it is a 500 PSI transducer. All right, we'll go ahead and save that and go back in and make sure everything looks good. And we're good there. So we're going to click save here. You got to make sure you hit save up here at the top. That saves it to the device itself. Settings saved. And we're done. I'll go in here real quick so you can see what this is all about. This is changing the display. Um, realistically, all you can really do is change the background. You can load in a picture of your family, a picture of your dog, a picture of your truck. A uh, picture of the, the girlfriend naked on the bed, whatever you want to put in there, uh, you can, and then you just save it. All this stuff is just resizing, saving. It's not really all that fancy. I'd like to be able to come in here and customize all my gauges and alert values, but you can't do that, unfortunately. Let's exit back out. And we'll go ahead and close. So now our Edge CTS, or Insight, is fully set up to use our three new pressure transducers. Check out my other video for uh, actually soldering on the pigtails and actually setting it up in the truck.